Welcome back to Crafted by Ray. I'm Ray and today I'm going to be making a shave bowl for my local barber shop. Let's begin. Okay, I'm going to be starting off with uh, planing down some boards. Like you see here, I planed down the walnut that I'm going to be using for the bottom of the shave bowl. Then I'm going to be cutting out circles on the CNC to glue together to make the bowl. The base is going to be three quarter of an inch walnut that I have here. And then I'm going to glue on some uh, half inch cherry pieces that I'm going to cut on the CNC. So first I'm going to cut down 12 inch pieces for the CNC. So let's begin. The CNC just finished up the bases for the shave bowls. Now, as you can see, there's some lines in here and there's some little poles I left up. These are help agitate the soap. So next I'm gonna do the individual layers to build the bowl. Two hours later. And if you have not yet already, please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Um, don't forget to share the video and give it a like. And let's keep on making a shave bowl. All right, I just got done sanding this. Um, I did some hand sanding on the inside uh, off camera. Now I'm gonna tack cloth them and get them ready to put the first coat of water-based polyurethane on. Um, the reason I'm going that route is a couple coats of that and these will be waterproof so they can be washed out.
Okay, I applied three coats of water-based polyurethane on these. The reason I use water-based polyurethane is after it cures, it will basically make these waterproof so that the soap in the shave bowls and everything will be washed out. And the process of using the water-based polyurethane, I sanded in between each coat, giving it a nice smooth finish. I really like water-based polyurethane. I'll have a link in a video that I did about a couple years ago on it that I'll talk more about water-based polyurethane. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and if so, could you do me a favor and click one of these boxes here and there and they'll take you to another one of my videos and as always, thanks for watching.